Okay, we're back. We're back. Um, okay, we just finished. Day. We just finished uh, giving the dead undying girl some bread. Yum. It's apparently made her happy. And uh, we're gonna go tell her husband about that. And we'll also meet the miners. He came in the miners and I'll take a sign. <laughs> what on that? Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. People say we monkey around. We're too busy singing to let anybody, you know, to put anybody down. Okay, so that has nothing to do with minors, actually. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's like okay. like an oldie or something. Who's one of the you see a powerful monkeys. miner. There's no way any of us are going back in that mine with that ghost in there. I mean, it's a powerful miner for you. You see a powerful miner. There's no way any of us are going back in that mine with that ghost in there. Mm. Oh, we talked to both of them, right? I think so. Let's talk to this guy. You see a sly-looking, slender young man. Howdy, stranger. I'm your bites. I'm the cook. Fascinating. Timnius. Timnius was the miner who discovered the ghost. He went to Cademia to tell Thuria about it. Ghost. Things have just been turned upside down around here since Timnius discovered the ghost. Um. What's the Quanum's name? Something like. Amphidamus is the foreman here at the mine. Mine. I've had worse jobs, but life in a mining camp isn't all bad. Does that even make sense? I've had worse jobs, but it's not all bad. <laughs> this mine is the only good source of pure iron in the land. Food? I'm the cook. <laughs> I was hoping you'd give me some well. food. <laughs> I could just take some, but... Alright, here's the poor man. You see a short, stocky man with an ugly grin. You are here for a job. We're not hiring until certain problems have been resolved. How about your name? I'm Amphidamus. Your job? I'm the foreman here at the iron mine. Iron. It's a pretty interesting metal, but too hard to be able to forge like bronze. Though the mages must know some tricks. Tricks? Yeah, how else do you think our coins could be made of iron? A blacksmith can work it into a plow, but not a coin. Mine. This mine is the only good source of pure iron in the land. Problems. You've not heard the story of the ghost? Yes. About a week back at Timnius, one of my men is digging a new tunnel and discovers a bit of a cave. This would normally be good, less to dig, you know, but this cave isn't empty. There's something in it. It seemed to be a sort of man shape, but not quite, and it seemed to glow with a whitish light and spoke a tongue we'd never heard. A Timnius hauls out of there, scared, so myself and a couple others go back and check it out. Sure enough, he was right. Never seen anything like that in my life, and never hope to again. I sent Atenius to Academia to talk with Thuria and see what she says. But let me tell you, until that thing is gone, we ain't going back in. Thuria. I've told you my report. You can take that back to Thuria, or delve deeper yourself. Addis. This mine is owned by House Addis. Decent enough folks to work for if they can figure out what to do with a ghost. Anything else I should ask him? I if he knows who Yuri Bates is. Yuri Bates is our cook and hunter. Cool. Um, Timnius was the miner to discover the ghost. He went to Cademia to tell Thuria about it. I don't remember the other miners' names, do you? <laughs> He's a miner here. Okay. Farewell. Yeah, I see they figured out all their names, but... You see a powerful miner. There's no way any of us are going back in that mine with that ghost in there. They have a unified front, There's... don't they? How old? Was it the same mine? I don't know. No variation. No, no variation. Hmm. 
Well, hopefully Jaxus appreciates that <laughs> loaf of flatbread. Have you honored Jinrai? Yeah, I guess so. Yes, this is good. Seek our son, that one bear the key to the right post. Our deal is kept. I thought our deal was that you'd give me the key. <laughs> son. Our son, you know, that one has many names. We know as Bahudin. Bahudin? Our son, you know. Oh, sorry. Oh, you you know that. that one. They are magpie. This is impossible, my liege. This would mean that Magpie isn't human. Truth is on our side. Bah! You can't trust this creature. What do you think? Can I trust him? Um, I don't think that Hector's the <laughs> intellectual sort to understand anything about what's going on. It's like, Hector, he, if you not paid attention to anything with that. He's your... your um quintessential stick chalk. Um, well, gotta figure out what to do next. So Magpie will give us the key to the, to Matey. Matey! <laughs> Matey. <Arr. laughs> Um, I never got around to digging up the last sapphire book. Oh, let's do that. I was thinking I could stop it next when I'm doing the sapphire books, but I don't even have them all yet. Where's the last one? I think victory is the one we didn't get. It's buried between Odinia and Catamanca. I thought I was like, pretty good at killing things. Well, I'll just have to come up this. Yeah, I sharpened those swords as much as I could. Should we go tell Saria what we figured out? Sure. She's pretty rude about She's it. She's on the way. So. Okay, I don't think of anything else to do in Kadimi right now. Oh, wait, we can get those boots. boots. It's too late to actually use them, but we can get them. These boots are made for walking. Well, I must say, I'm a bit disappointed with the results. Not only has this taken longer than I expected, but the results, while they perform as promised, aren't the most comfortable. I thank you, however, for the opportunity, and as promised, here are boots. May they serve you well. <laughs> here are boots. He hands you a pair of stiff leather boots. Finest leather goods for sale! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I'll give them to Ethan. I really don't need him anymore. The only thing I'd want him for is that volcano. I guess they'll come in handy when we go to the swamp. But yeah. Whatever. Ethan's the one who's going to get poisoned. You see an ancient dowager with noble bearing. Greetings again, Bellerophon. Have you learned anything about the situation at the mine? Yes, actually, I've learned a great deal. Anything you'd care to share on that? <laughs> I'm not sure of all the details yet, but there is some sort of being in the depths of the mine. She knew that. <laughs> a being? Hostile? Friendly? Why is it there? I'm not exactly sure myself. All I know for sure is that it probably means no harm and just wishes to be left alone. I know why it's there. It's their moping. <laughs> it's obvious. Yeah, you did tell us that. Yeah. And that does me a little good, but I thank you for the effort nonetheless. Goodbye, Bellerophone. Okay. How about the, uh, the winemakers down there? Yeah. When you're... They have here the only chicken leg in Kithara, unless mm. you kill a chicken. 
the two of them. You can't do chicken. that without making people mad. They do get very mad. They do. They're killing my chickens. Welcome to the Southland Vineyard. But you brought this woman. Me. I'm Brissus. Job. With my husband Boris, I'm the I run the Southland Vineyard. Actually, I do most of the running, and he focuses on the wine. Wine. Boris is a master winemaker and a good husband as well. Glaucus. Glaucus, fine man, but he doesn't hold a candle to Boris in winemaking. Boris. Boris is a master winemaker okay. and a good husband as well. Contract. I can't contract out any of my stores since House Kamana ordered it all out. Kamana. House Kamana is the ruling house of Kosha. Take care, young lady. Uh, Pukvar's wife, to be honest, kind of. What can I do for you? Name? I'm Boris, the winemaker. Job. I run Southland Vineyard. You do not. You may make the wine, but I run this place. Ah, yes, as my wife points out, I'm just the winemaker. She runs all the details. Wine. Southland Vineyard makes the finest wine available. Contract. Sorry, you'll have to ask another. Bacchus. Then you haven't heard? Heard what? His entire inventory, including this year's must, all turned sour. You hear that, Bree? Of course I heard it. I'm standing right here. Did they find out how it happened? No, nothing yet. Yeah, we did. Somebody put kelp in it. <laughs> I sure hope whatever it is doesn't spread. It would be a disaster. Next time you see him, tell him that if there's any way I can help, to let me know. And keep us up to date if you find out anything, won't you? Sorry, you'll have to ask another. Okay. Take care and tell us if you find out anything. Yeah, I don't think I'll bother with that. I wouldn't respond to it anyway. Alright, get that silly book. I really should have done this when we were over here before. I can never mm -hmm. keep track of what I'm doing. Alright. Shovel. Sapphire Book of Victory. It is the consciousness of force that is needed to go beyond abstracted consciousness, which can be expressed as emotional feelings about material things. In this last abstraction of force... Fascinating, as always. Okay. Fascinating, like a button. I guess let's go to um, Nyx. We turn the box. Six. On the harpy egg. Yeah. And then maybe we could go visit Trorax. Yeah. Trorax? He's the one in the cave, right? Cave? No, he's the guy with the minion. Yeah. Trorax. Yeah. The guy with the cave is dead. Right? I don't know what the guy in the cave is. Time flux book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he died a while back. Um, okay, let's see. I have nine training points. Do I want to waste them all on mana? Don't you need other level casting? If I want to learn spells in the eighth degree hall. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so how about you one casting? Any of them? They're not that great, but okay, I'll get one casting and. I don't know. Oh, it's like three points. Yeah, no need. Unless there's something else you're going to need to train in for, for the end. We've got the basics. Now, here are some more advanced formulations. Hmm, you are quite the student. Now, here are some real advanced techniques.
got complete mastery of mana. Boo -boo -boo. We still have one training point. Hmm. Um. Okay, where's healing dude? Where is healing dude? Uh, I don't see him in the game. In the cafeteria? No, he's not there. Maybe it's in his room in the stream. You peaceful looking man with an inner glow. <laughs> ah, excellent! You found a harpy egg. I thank you greatly for this. Harpy? Well, rumor has it that harpy eggs can be stored for years and then hatch into the vile creatures. It is as if harpy oh, eggs. Man. There you go. Sorry. What was that? <laughs> a phone call. What was that, Pink? The computer dings when the phone rings. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. It is as if harpy eggs can withstand the passage of time unnoticed. If some essence can be extracted, it might allow one to slow down the body, preventing the ravages of time. It's just a theory, mind you. Okay. Um, guess that does it with him. May you go in harmony. I just need to find um, Mr. Librarian. Mr. Librarian. Oh, snap. Was he out in the garden. Um, I wasn't paying attention. There he is. Hey, what can I do for you? Password. I see you found two book. This is good. The password to the eighth degree hall is Kuruto. Hi. I've got books to care for. Stop back again. Um, what was your name again? Bob. Bob. Yes, that's it. All right. Over here's the eighth degree hall. Cody, is that it? Kuruto. Okay. name. History of the cipher manuscript. In 186 AT, the remains of a charred manuscript were found in the bottom of a chest in the library in Pnyx. Not only were only fragments of it found, but they were written in an unknown script. Through painstaking work, an attempt was made to recreate the original document. The result, however, is very confusing at best. The problems are multifold. We know not the original script, words, nor grammar. Through the use of experimental magical methods, which unfortunately would more often destroy the original than translate it, we strove onward. What we discovered, we could not have prepared for. The resulting jumble of ideas and sentences was then rearranged, attempting to create a usable document. Some liberty has been taken to attempt to organize the thoughts contained therein into a more readable form. We have taken our best guess at some of the unknown words. Hopefully this does not change any of the content in any significant way. If there is any truth to this document, it would be most alarming. Not the least of these is the issue of the author of the document, who is almost certainly not human. Yeah, we're seeing is, is that the, where the Sapphire books came from? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I suspect the sapphire books came from um Lloyd Foy VA. Let the aspirant beware of the slightest exercise. I'm still not very interested in the more <laughs> A translation of the cipher manuscript. Between the multitude of realities is the void. To be able to cross the void is to be able to cross between realities. That those of the Shimra have done so is given as fact, and from them I have learned the ability. Realities can be as small as Cathera, or an entire universe, complete in itself as the human homeland was. All, however, are created as Shimra. Cathera appears unique in the weakness between the barrier and the void. The elemental forces are strong to maintain cohesion, or so I was told. I, however, hold that the strife between them has allowed this barrier to weaken. If allowed to continue, it will be destroyed, and with it Cathera. Both futures must be planned against. Hath in attempting it to oh. both in attempting to realign the elemental forces as well as increasing the localization of the barrier, should Kethera fragment. 
Were the latter to happen, the shockwave might well disrupt nearby realities as well. The Chimera know not for sure, but thus have they warned me. In this warning, I could not help but perceive a thought. T-H-L-D-R-W Though the meaning of those letters I know not. To unify the four pillars have I brought the humans, being of the fifth element, though their arrival has disrupted much of the balance. If, indeed, it was a balance to begin with. One other tool, if it is gathered, might help. The fragments of the Bane Stone. Those fragments, however, are beyond my reach at this juncture. Gaining them shall be a dangerous gamble, which I shall only undertake if it appears that all else is failing. For that failing gamble might well hasten the end that is most feared. This is one of my favorite books in the game. Because <laughs> it just tells you so much. Um, like, you know, Kipo is only one of many different worlds that you can access from the void, and, um, that, you know, Kipo is weak to the, to the barrier between it and the void. The barrier is weak, so. That's why all these, all these forces are here in Kipo. And it also helps explain the TSs, because that's why all these people <laughs> from other worlds are coming in. <laughs> it's just weak in the void. It's more or less the excuse for having... Um, feeling like we are entirely butchering the lore by bringing in people and creatures from who knows where. Yeah. And then the THLDRW is probably referring to Theldro. Which was a game that Gondrias made before he made Kippa. It's just another another world. And it's a really hard game. I don't think it's possible to win without cheating. Actually, it's not possible to win, period, because the game is just a cliffhanger. <laughs> it's like coming soon to a Mac near you. The sequel. Um, and then the author of the Cypher manuscript is the one that brought the humans to Kippa. Mm -hmm. Um... I suspect that the author is Magpie, mm -hmm. but not everyone agrees with me. And the the Bane Stone's got to be the Krolna. Right. Do you think it was, there was Magpie? something that seemed to indicate that Magpie wasn't born very long before Alex Mar? What What was that? I don't remember. I thought there was something that would seem to indicate that. Um, I don't remember. Foy, foy. Foy, foy, yeah. In the beginning. But, um, Magpie was the one that suggested that Arlick summon me. Restoration. Resurrection. Resurrection does the same thing as my amulet, which I haven't really used yet, but if someone mm. dies, I can resurrect them with the amulet. As long as you're not in danger of running out of power on the amulet, that's probably easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can only use the amulet like a handful of times. I don't remember how many. More than three. But I feel like the fact that Magpie suggested Aralek bring me Kithra shows that he's familiar with he probably summoning read the humans. He manuscript in the original Sylvain. I think he wrote it. Titan! There's really, like, no one else in the game that could have written it. So if it's not Magpie, it's got to be an unnamed character. Whoops, there's some meat in the way. Titans are fun to kill. You get a lot of meat, you get some experience. Then again, they tend to run away. Green giraffes. I need my map. I don't know where Charb's house is. Okay, we went way too far. Where's my map? Drag it out where you can see it. Okay, okay. Sheesh. 
thought guys weren't supposed to use maps. I guess it just makes me an abomination. <laughs> and I'm an abomination too, because <laughs> I don't use them. Alright, we finally meet this guy. You see a nervous, unkempt young man. I'm like an old man. <laughs> <laughs> it really does look like an old man. <laughs> Look, I'm very busy, and you wouldn't understand what I'm going doing anyway, so go away. Are you Charax? Yes, I am. Why? Police just said I could find you here. Prove it. Do you know alchemy? Yes, it was taught by Police herself. Hmm, very well. Make it quick. What can I do for you? Name. I am Charax. I thought you said you knew that. Job. I am a free mage studying alchemy. Palestra. I have nothing but respect for her. She's quite a teacher. Contract. I can't help you. Please stop wasting my time. Wine. Why, yes, I do make wine, and kind of hard to get it out here at times. My favorite is North Shore Red, but I make a passable drink. Haven't you heard? Something went wrong, and all his stores went bad. And his must as well. No, that can't be. Any <laughs> idea what happened? Not really. I was hoping you might be able to help. No, once wine goes sour, there's no way to reverse the process. What could cause it, though? Time is the only thing that I know that will make wine go sour. But must can, can't turn sour without first becoming wine, and that takes time as well. What about magic or alchemy? You obviously didn't learn much from Palestra. I suppose that some sort of spell could have altered the time flux. I don't know of anybody, short of Alaric, that could hope to pull something like that off, though. Though I remember once seeing a book on that at the Magisterium. Perhaps you should go ask Selenus about it. He knows every book in the Magisterium. If you manage to find it, if you bring it here, I'll see what I can figure out. Okay, bye. Don't think me rude, but please leave me alone with my studies. Okay, well, I'm not going to do it right now, so you have to wait. Alright, should we go ask someone else? We could skip that step, but that's the step we're supposed to take. Do you think he's in the... I don't know. I kind of think he's in the garden at 1 o'clock. He's often in the garden. Well, it's like he thinks he's a gardener, a not a librarian. <laughs> he hangs out in the library a lot, too. Uh, I thought no. I went through the top staircase, not no. the bottom one. <laughs> <laughs> you see a disheveled old man looking older than dirt itself. Hey, what can I do for you? Time flux. Hmm, we had a copy on that, but Free Major Domenus took our only copy and has yet to return it. What a menace. Free Major Domenus was studying some sort of nonsense. The last I heard, he was headed to Kosha. Hi. I've got books to care for. Stop back again. Uh, what was your name again? Bob. Bob, yes, that's it. He remembers everything about his books, but he can't remember my name. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of sad. He's like the Land King. He knows everybody that's native to Zathera. Everything that's local mm -hmm. up there. But out of towners like you, he's just clueless. Yes, the judge about him. Yeah. Or Pelagon. <laughs> Pelagon is not available right now. Mm. He is in hiding. See a disorganized man. At a menace. Free Mage at a menace was here a couple months back. Said he was going to follow the sea. He had some strange theory about time and the sea. I don't remember it exactly. He headed south, saying something about Earth meets the sea. Helpful. Very well. 
Okay. If you don't ask Ed Hanos about him, then the the pile of rocks in the cave doesn't disappear. Mm. Which is what happened to me the first time I tried to do this. Mm. And then I had to fetch the rocks because I couldn't figure out how to get them to disappear. Now there's Skilla down here. No, not Skilla. There's there's Hydra. polyps. Oh. And Hydra, yeah. Dang it with the Hydra. I think there's some tentacles too, so maybe there are Sheila. And we have a Seldane chamber. Do, 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 do. Let thoughts. Should I just let my followers get those polyps <laughs> that are about to attack them? There we go. And we have a mystic spear. Mystic, dude. I'll probably never use this, but I'm taking it anyway. Spears are just awkward because they're thrown weapons. I mean, you can, if you're right next to something, you can use it like a sword. Um, yeah, you could use it on a hydra. But, um,. It's like not guaranteed that you'll get it back after you throw it. Mm. It sometimes just disappears. Should I try it on this hydra? See, there we go. The rock pile just disappeared. And the rock pile blocks the, the cave. So. The hydra. Can the hydra attack you? They don't, no. I think it can't reach. Where's that spear? I might as well try it on the polyp if I lose it. No big loss. So it takes both your hands. Then, there we go. I hit it hard and it's still alive. I'll use my magic arrows. Hit it hard, hit it, hit it hard. <laughs> Critically wounded. Not the best way to kill it. So good, I get my spear back. Gotta hold on to my sword for a minute so I can fight a few more polyps. There's a lot of polyps in here. Yeah. Hmm. Should be pretty high level by the time we get here. I don't even know what level I am. Here's another Hydra. It's not really in the way or harming me in any way, so I probably shouldn't kill it, but I mean. Not with the trouble. I mean. Let my followers get those and put a bow in my hands. Oh man, I can't open this with a bow in my hand. This thing perplexes me. It's a little, like a little um, altar. What do, you, what do you call a room with an altar? Chapel. Uh, Shrine. Yes. Shrine is probably accurate. Oh, yeah. They have like, what is this place? Was it a cult of Sheila thing? I mean, who made this? And there's no info. Craftsmanship is excellent, but you don't recognize the object. Subject. Subject. It's obviously lost. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's never explained. Have, have you tried putting bread on it, or wine, or harpy egg? <laughs> um, I don't have most of those things. I could put bread on it. Like, on the bust? No, or on, on the, the altar. altar. Locked. Okay. Yeah. I guess you can't do that then. Let's see. Unless it's because that stirrup jar is in the way. Locked. If it was possible to pour wine, I could try that, but I'm not sure if it actually is possible to carry wine. I can't remember. He's in Malaysia. Lost like his mind in his old age. Put, put, um, 
wine in a bucket because um, I don't know, Ron just doesn't think that's good form. <laughs> you can put it in a pitcher, but I thought that after you did, it still seemed to not be in the pitcher. Sword back on. I'm very good at using bow and arrow. And my followers are all lost somewhere, so I'm on my own with these. Alright, here is Idomeneus. Study of time flux. Time is like the sea in more ways than one. So I propose that a whole new field of time-related magic is possible, but requires understanding the power of the sea, much as our common magic is based on the earth. So, there's undying magic as well as Saldane magic. He's got one of these staffs. I don't really need two, do I? I don't know. The cool people are using them. The uh, Time Flux book weighs like ten times as much as other books do. So it must be like a hefty volume. Probably a, uh, what you calls it, academic work. Yeah. Those always take a lot of, a lot of pages to not say a whole lot. Well, we need to get the key to, to Matey. So we need to. We need to talk to Magpie about that. He's not going to be willing to talk about it if Alaric's around. So we've got to find him at a time when Alaric's not around. So we go see if this is a good time. I'll just actually have time for today. It. Okay, I'll just... Ah, there he is. This is perfect. Next time we can talk to Magpie. Apparently we don't even know his name. <laughs> we'll talk to Magpie about his secret identity. Pum 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 pum. See you then.